so hey everyone uh, this is tanuj so in this video we are going to uh, get started with another course uh, where we will be building a property listing website using uh, nextjs all right so basically this is an application where you can uh, search for properties where uh, you want to like you can contact the owner view all the images and uh, just like how you uh, see other websites like uh, 99acres or nobroker.com so it's like we are building a clone of it all right so and also you can also post properties you can talk with the client and uh, also like uh, others can message you and all of all that stuff all right so uh, that that is a basic overview and also i'll be showing you a demo um, after this uh, uh, explanation of uh, this tech stack and the requirements all right so let's discuss the tech stack and the requirements for this project so uh, the of course the programming language will be using a uh, typescript uh, so it is always uh, recommended to use typescript uh, with nextjs which gives us some additional type safety and uh, prevent us from any uh, application bugs all right and of course we'll be using react and of course like nextjs is built on top of react and i also made a video on explaining the trade offs between nextjs and react uh, like why uh, what nextjs uh, solves the problems of that react ha react actually has and all of that so you can just check that out and uh, we'll be using a component library and uh, we'll not be using a uh, tailwind css uh, while for next years okay so so that we don't have to write uh, much much of css and uh, our components also will look much prettier okay so uh, i have chosen and design because uh, and design is uh, very compact and uh, highly customizable and i have been using it and i'm having a lot of fun with it right so uh, apart from that uh, we'll be using uh, next auth for authentication like uh, we will be using uh, google oauth for uh, uh, in particular in order to sign in and log out for the database we'll be using uh, sqlite all right so this is just like a lighter version of uh, mysql database okay so we can just use that for this project uh, since it is not a much heavy project and uh, in order to talk to our database we'll be using a orm called as object relational mapping called prisma okay apart from that we will be um also using cloudinary for uh, storing our uh, images onto the cloud okay so that we don't have to like uh, you know store all the images into like a separate container and you know just fetch every single image when or so cloudinary makes it a lot more easier all right and uh, finally we are going to deploy this application on vercel so uh, this are all, this is the basic tech stack we'll be using in this uh, project and uh, there are certain requirements before we uh, starting with this course so you may, we must have a basic knowledge of uh, nextjs or uh, react in general so that uh, you know i won't be starting right from scratch and uh, we will be starting with a basic foundation like uh, like a basic knowledge in nextjs and uh, apart from that basic typescript knowledge is uh, will be helpful but it's not actually required i will also be uh, teaching typescript along the way okay so uh, so that you don't have to find, uh, face any kind of difficulty but if you have some uh, basic knowledge then that will be helpful so that you don't get stuck in between all right so this is uh, all about the application so now let's see a demo about this application that we are going to build and in the next video we are going to get started by creating a brand new nextjs application all right this is the home page of the property listing app okay so it's by the name easy homes where i just chose the name okay so we have the hero section okay finding a perfect home and then we have a about us section so this is actually not real okay so just some chat gpt content which you can also copy and paste and this is some dummy image okay just to make it uh, make this website a little realistic all right so um, and then we have is the featured properties where um, others will pay the company uh, pay easy homes uh, some amount of money to feature their um, listing on on the home page okay so uh, these are the featured properties and i will come to the property page uh, after this and after this we have the properties in demand which means that uh, more people are contacting for the property the owner of this property uh, regarding um, regarding buying or, or uh, selling it okay so uh, that is why it is shown over here and it's uh, depend on the number of messages like more how many people are contacting um, the property owner for the particular property uh, which means that this property is in demand so we are listing those properties here and uh, finally we have the call to action section where uh, it is just some uh, 
simple content and just a button to explore properties okay so this is just like a basic simple home page where you um, you know see in other websites uh, as well right so this is the home page and if i want to search for a property i can just type in the location name and whether it's for rent or for sale so i'm just choosing rent and the location i can just say it as whitefield okay if i click on search we get that particular property in whitefield okay so we can just have a look and uh, after this uh, we can just now go to the browse properties okay so this will list all the different properties that we have within our application okay so uh, we can also sort them we can also filter them as well all right based on uh, certain parameters like uh, according to your requirements okay so i just have some dummy uh, you know uh, properties that i have listed and by default it is sorted by the latest properties okay so i can also sort them by price like from low to high so this will give us the lowest price and it goes up to the highest price and i can do the same from high to low as well okay so this is about sorting and uh, as far as the property we have the uh, type of the property either it's for rent or for sale then we have the amount okay so if it is for rent then we get uh, like per month and then we, it gives us some uh, additional information like the number of uh, bhks the square feet the the area of your property and is it for family or is it for bachelors and the name of your property and some kind of description and the actual location okay and also we get the image carousal where we can you know um, you can just see the different images for that particular property okay so let me just go right now and uh, filter some properties like let's say i want for rent and click on apply so you get all the different properties for rent all right and also i can just choose in specific like either i want a apartment a house or a villa and also the number of uh, bhks okay so one bhk two bhk or up to four bhk so you can just select one or even multiple all right so also you can just select the price range okay so if you are uh, uh, opting for rent you can just choose uh, one among these values or if you are looking for sale you can um, opt, opt uh, one among these values and also the area of the of the property and either it's for uh, family or for bachelors okay so if you click on apply you get those filtered properties okay so you see that it's for rent and for 2 bhk because that's that's the value that i set okay and uh, this is all about it so if i just uh, and also we have a button to save okay so if i click on save it says that we need to sign in to save properties okay so i'll just come back to the uh, login and logout part um, later in this video and now if i just click on a particular property okay so we see the property details for that property okay so we have a nice carousal here where we can just swap and look at the different images for the property and we get the name of the property the location and its different details like it's for rent apartment 2 bhk the area of the property and whether it's for family or bachelors and then we have some, some dummy description and we are also going to implement google geo coding okay so which will point at the correct location of the particular property okay so um, this is all about the application and also we have a feature to uh, send a message to the owner of the property okay so uh, since we are not logged in so it's not allowing us to um, uh, send the message to the property owner so now let's go ahead and try to log in and just see what happens so let me just click on login or register so if you are not if you are already uh, a logged in user then it will log you in if not it will uh, register you as a user okay so i'm just going to log in through my email id and also we are going to use google oauth for um, logging in and logging out for this application and once you log in you get this um, a uh, small box to contact the owner of the property okay so we can just send in a message so this will send a message to the property owner and uh, since this is a dummy email so we cannot uh, see actually what happens so let me just uh, create a property and then um, like send a message to you and message to that property owner and uh, show you that okay so for that you can go to the home page and we see a button to list the property okay so we can just click on list property and so this will open a form with different fields that you that you actually need to provide to list a property on this application okay so let's say i want to um, keep the type as rent and 
let's type in the name of the property so this is actually my property which i'm living in so this is some test description so for the street city state and zip code i'm just going to keep this as the default of my previous old house i guess and then the price i can just set this to um, 20000 rupees and the bhk is going to be 3 bhk and the area is 1200 square feet parking yes and also we can upload images okay so all the images will be uploaded to cloudinary okay so which is a hosting provider which will store which will store all of the uh, images to the cloud and we can also access them accordingly okay so let me just choose few images of this application that we have click on open and we see that images are uploaded and we can just select the preferred tenants property type and when is it available from okay so after that when i hit on submit okay so let's wait yeah so the property is created and it will take you directly to the property page all right so this is the different images that i have uploaded okay we also have get a carousal but i don't see the arrow for some reason yeah okay so we get the auto swipe feature as well so then the we see the name of the property and all the details that we actually entered okay so the description and also the uh, map okay so the this points at the exact location that i provided within the add application add a property okay so since i am the owner of the property i don't get any uh, dialog box and also you see here i get an option to edit as well okay and also a, a link to you know share this with your family friends or anyone okay so link copy to clipboard and i can also edit this property so this will open up a form which will auto populate all the different values that we have um, set for the property okay we also get all the images and also i can upload some more images if i want maybe this and click on save so this will go ahead and save the particular property all right so property updated so now we should see the particular image being added okay it is right here the and design logo so this is all about the application guys so also we can message the property owner so since i created this property let me uh, log in to another account and uh, try to send a message so now i am logged in as uh, another person from this application so now i see the contact details which i just created using the particular email id and i can just say that hi i am interested in this property all right and click on send okay so the message is actually sent maybe i should uh, add a message that uh, the message is sent successfully okay so we'll do that and now if we go back to the previous account and if we go to the messages you see that we have one particular message okay so when we click on that we see that uh, the exact message that i typed in okay and also the um, username the name and for the which which property are we actually getting this message okay and i can also mark this as red so that's done and now you can also see that uh, we can also save in properties okay so if i just go back and uh, you know since this is my property i can't save it so if i just go back to properties um properties since now i'm logged in i can also save in properties okay so i can just save this property and can go to save properties you see that i have saved that particular properties and i can also unsave them okay so this is all about the the as far as the saving properties and now if i just go to my profile you see the the actual default uh, google logo that you set up while creating your account and these are the different property listings that i as a user has have created okay so this is the property and i can also edit this property over here and also i can mark this as sold okay so this will mark this property as sold so now if i go back to the properties and see that that property is no longer shown over here okay so if i want to activate the property back i can go back to my profile and mark the property as active so you see that property is back again right so did i miss out anything yeah so we have this load more option which will load in more properties for so for now we are displaying all the 
properties so we are showing maximum of 10 so if you want to like see more you can just click on this load more which will show up more and more uh, properties okay the next 10 properties and so on so that we do not waste a lot of time in rendering this uh, page with all the different uh, properties okay so this is all about the application guys i hope you liked it and hope you are as excited as i am to build this application with you guys and yeah so let's get started by creating a brand new nextjs application and start building this application right off the bat all right so did i miss anything and yeah so since i also you know sent a message to the particular property i get this as the property in demand okay so just a side note over there and yeah so that's it so i'll see you in the next video bye bye